Stories are ideas which take on a life of their own. My name is Osadumebi, and every week I will tell you a short story written by a Nigerian writer or author. That's the long and short of it. So without much ado, this week's story is by Dumebi Oboli, and it's titled Osadumebi. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. It was 2020. It was lockdown. It was a dear friend from secondary school hosting a Zoom makeup tutorial and offering a not to be sniffed at promo for a made in Nigeria makeup line that she was brand ambassador for, Hegai and Esther. The only catch? You had to engage with the brand on Instagram to get the discount being offered. The challenge? I was not on Instagram. I had no reason to be. At the best of times, I'm what you might call social media light. And at the worst of times, mm -hmm. under normal circumstances, I would have shrugged my shoulders and said something akin to, well, that is that. But I decided I really wanted the makeup. So I created an Instagram account, engaged with the brand and bought the makeup. And boy, am I glad I did. Ladies, Go buy Hegai and Esther. Gents, gift it to the ladies in your life. You're welcome. Anywho, I promptly forgot about my Instagram account. A couple of months later or thereabouts, I was scrolling through WhatsApp status updates and another dear friend, also from secondary school, was campaigning for votes for a voiceover competition her sister was participating in. The only catch you had to vote on Instagram. I remembered my Instagram account and logged in, but only after resetting my password. I did say I was social media light. I listened to a few entries and voted. For her sister, of course. I preferred her entry. It turns out, so did a lot of other people because she won. So you know how you rarely log into social media platforms to do just one thing without getting lured into endless scrolling? Well, I scrolled, not endlessly, on the Voice of Our Workshop and Media IG page. I took note of some information and logged off. A little bit of backstory. Growing up, I had a flair for the creative arts. As far back as I can remember, I've been part of choirs and drama groups, but only ever as a hobby. In my adult life, I stuck more with singing than acting. However, in the couple of years before the pandemic, the singing stopped. Work was all-consuming. In 2019, I was burning out. It was the season of darkness. I remember wishing for a pause of some description, a respite from the hamster wheel I had inadvertently gotten myself into. The 2020 lockdown was my pause. It was the spring of hope. It significantly slowed down the frenetic pace I had been keeping. I found silence. 
And I could see and hear myself think for the first time in too long. Who I saw and what I heard could jolly well have led to an early demise. A milestone birthday was on the horizon. If I was going to burn, it wasn't going to be out, but bright. It was the age of wisdom. In most Nigerian cultures, names are significant. My name, Osadjumebi, means God helps me to live. God always has, still is, and always will be my help. A singular event would be a coincidence, but a string of well-orchestrated events and masterfully curated and sustained friendships can only be providence. Or sad do may be. Back to where I left off. The information I gathered from the voiceover workshop and media Instagram page would not leave me. So, in August 2020, I took the voiceover acting pro course 3. During the week-long course, long forgotten embers were fanned. I saw a path open up before me, a path which keeps illuminating with every step. Between August 2020 and today, more strings of well-orchestrated events than I have the time to recount have occurred. It was the season of light. I'll highlight a few pertinent ones. Shortly after attending the pro course, I contacted yet another dear friend who I met when I lived in Australia. She is a voiceover artist and she provided invaluable insight from her personal experience. She also recommended Edge Studio in New York. October 2020 had me linking arms with a small group of ladies, a couple of whom I've known since secondary school. We formed a mastermind group. We set goals and encourage one another through many ups and downs as we work towards achieving those goals. December 2020, I took my first class with Edge Studio and have taken several thereafter and I will continue to take classes. Thank God for the virtual age we live in. A couple of things happened in January 2021. The first... I converted a wardrobe to build my first home studio using vouchers received the Christmas before and from my birthday that January. The second, I had a timely conversation with a dear childhood friend and his wife. Social media suddenly had a purpose, but I did not have a clue. They broke down a lot of things for me and provided a strategic blueprint to help navigate the social media maze. In March 2021, I changed jobs. One of the scariest but most rewarding leaps of faith I had to take. I needed to reclaim my life in order to restructure it for growth and expansion. In September 2022, I finally finished recording and producing the first audiobook I narrated titled Honey Out of Carcass written by Onyinye Nzerem, another dear friend from secondary school. It is available to buy on Audible and iTunes. October 2022? Stories are dreams becoming reality. And I'm on episode 14. I've connected with incredible writers along the way, some of whose stories will be featured more regularly as I continue to seek out and connect with new writers and authors. I cannot even begin to quantify the amount of time invested in researching and learning, practicing and improving, strategizing, planning and executing. I need to highlight one salient but often overlooked aspect with any endeavor, mindset. We often underestimate or totally ignore mental preparation. This is significantly different from, but integral to honing talent or skill. 
I embarked on a mental overhaul and remain intentional about daily mind renewal as instructed by the Bible. So why this particular story? Remembrance, posterity, and gratitude. Like most of us, I have a penchant for spending a disproportionate amount of time focusing on what I have not yet done or achieved and what did not go quite well. Rebalancing is necessary. Taking a moment to write and share this story leaves me in awe of the ground I've covered on this particular path. Osadumibi. I hope you found this story interesting and maybe inspirational, but it's been a selfish indulgence for me. You can't hear it, but I'm patting myself on the back with both hands. And I'm giving you a big high five for listening every week and being part of my journey. 14 episodes and over 500 downloads. It is not just my mother listening. (laughs) Thank you very much. Tsunoma, the dear friend who hosted the Makeup Zoom tutorial. Tsunene, the dear friend whose WhatsApp status remains my NTA news. To King E, who carries and executes a vision which only eternity will reveal the impact. To Rachel, the dear friend who provided invaluable insight and introduced me to Edge Studio. To the mastermind group, Shoma, Ifoma, and Violet. At the end of meetings, when they ask if anyone has anything else to say, Let us normalize being that person who says no and then proceeds to repeat what everyone else has just said. To Omo and Yolanda for continuously believing in and showing the way. To Onyinye for trusting me with the narration of Honey Out of Carcass. To Kenechi, see you on the red carpet. To Abe, Shagun and Chinenge. Long-time friends turned language lexicons. To class of 97 and FGGC Oweri. I am what I am because of who we all are. To friends too numerous to call out, you keep me grounded. To the dozens of teachers and mentors who have changed my mind and life through books, blogs, videos, courses, etc. I will pay it forward. To a group of people I tend to be coded about, but whose influence is evident. Support abounding and love unquantifiable. My family. Daddy at J. Mommy Ojogo. Umu Oboli at J. It really does take a village. 2023 promises to burn bright. There's more about this ever-illuminating path I look forward to sharing with you. The Epoch of Belief. A singular event would be a coincidence. But a string of well-orchestrated events and masterfully curated and sustained friendships can only be providence. Or sad do may be. If you don't already know, I'm Osa do may be, but everyone calls me do may be. I work as a project management professional during the week from nine to five. And at every other time, it feels like, I'm a voiceover artist and content creator. I help Nigerian writers and authors transform their written work to audio and then make it available to a wider audience via audiobook platforms and through this podcast. So, if you've got a story you would like to be featured on this podcast or a published book you would like to make into an audiobook, I would love to hear from you. 
Contact me at B on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And if you've enjoyed this week's episode, tell a friend that stories are a good escape for a few minutes each week. Thank you.